Hey guys, welcome to my channel, welcome back to it. So, I don't know why, but I just started thinking of a video that I want to film. Yeah, my phone's so fun. I want to talk about Lily Reinhardt and Cole Sprouse's relationship. I probably should have done this when he went on the Call Her Daddy podcast. Like, really run into the relationship, but I didn't. Because I have no fucking clue why. I did it for Kelsey Ballerini and Morgan Evans while I didn't do, like, a deep dive. I'm not gonna do, like, a deep dive into the relationship, but, uh, I want to talk about the relationship. So I'm gonna go on Google, type in Post Prize on Lily Reinhardt relationship. Okay, we're gonna use people.com because I don't know why. People magazine just, I don't know. Feels like I don't even know what I'm trying to say. Okay. I'm gonna read this full people website article. This is Cole Sprouse and Lily Reinhardt's relationship timeline. Riverdale co-stars Cole Sprouse and Lily Reinhardt officially ended their off-screen relationship in March 2020. I will say my two cents on the relationship. I really, 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 when they were together, really, really, I love them together. Like, I was... Like, their, uh... Their ship name was... Sprouseheart, I believe? I forget what the relationship Sprouse. Yeah, I'm gonna type that in. Yeah, it was Sprouse Heart was their ship name. But uh Okay, I'm gonna start reading it. Cole Sprouse and Lily Reinhardt first Cole Sprouse and Lily Reinhardt first met while filming their hit CW teen teen drama Riverdale and dated off and on off and on until March twenty twenty. After the show's premiere in January 2017, fans correctly noticed the couple's on-screen chemistry has Jughead Jones and Betty Cooper, sometimes referred to jointly as Bughead. I love them together in the show as well. But their relate eh, something popped up. But their real life romance wasn't confirmed until they walked and met Gala Red Carpet together in May 2018. The former Disney actor and the Hustler star rarely spoke about their on and off relationship in interviews. Move my phone some. Though, I'm gonna read that. The former Disney actor and the Hustler star rarely spoke about their on and off relationship in interviews. Though they often shared tests and tributes to each other on social media. It's not like I'm trying to dangle my relationship in front of people's faces like... You don't know anything about us, Reinhardt told Teen Vogue in October 2018. It's just you, you don't need, it's just you don't need to know. People feel like they owe, they're owed that. And you're absolutely not owed anything by me. It's not something that we hide or it's not something that we show off. Sprouse told GQ in February 2018. It's just something that exists. Following months of breakup rumors, the pair split for good in March 2020. Although Reinhardt has removed most of the evidence of their relationship from her Instagram feed, the exes remain supportive co-stars and friends. Here's a complete breakdown of Cole Sprouse and Lily Reinhardt's relationship. Okay. March 2016, Lily Reinhardt and Cole Sprouse filmed the pilot episode of Riverdale. Oh, this is going to make me cry because I really like them together. And they're both in completely different relationships. But, uh, now. While it's unclear exactly when Reinhardt and Sprouse first met, the pilot episode of Riverdale was filmed in March 2016. I would have to think it's between, like, when they first met, like, late 2015 and early 2016. That's when they first met, I would think. Lily was a tough egg to crack. Sprouse told Glamour in 2018 regarding his first impression of his co-star. She's very shy at first and reserved. I think it was 
about halfway into the first season, she started letting people in truly. Reinhardt wasn't so sure about Sprouse either. I thought his voice was annoying, she told Glamour. I was like, that guy's got an annoying voice, and now it's grown on me, I guess. <laughs> you really did grow on you. <laughs> February 25th, 2017. Close Sprouse and Lily Reinhardt sparked the relationship rumors. Fans pretty much started shipping Reinhardt and Sprouse IRL after Riverdale premiered in January 2017. However, Sprouse first fanned the flames when he was spun into a photo of Reinhardt on Twitter in February, writing, Tempt me. <laughs> Tempt me. I don't know why that's funny to me. March 18th, 2017, Cole Sprouse posted a photo of Lily Reinhardt on Instagram. I think that photo is no longer available. It has a link to it on people. Let's see if it pulls up for me. Okay, the caption of it is a bunch of flower emojis, like, voila. Can y'all see that? Kinda. I'll take a screenshot and I'll put it on the screen now. Okay. Okay. Sorry guys. There's some. By March, fans were convinced Sprouse Heart was real after Sprouse shared a dreamy photo of his co-star on Instagram. July 22nd, 2017. Cole Sprouse and Lily Reinhardt reportedly kissed at Comic Con. In July 2017, people reported that Reinhardt was spotted wearing Sprouse's maroon blazer at Entertainment Weekly's Comic-Con Bass in San Diego. According to the report, the two were later seen canoodling, holding hands, and kissing in January 2018. Cole Spouse and Lily Reinhardt vacation in Hawaii amid dating rumors. Spouse and Reinhardt happily posed with fans while vacationing in Hawaii in early January. The pair were also photographed returning to Vancouver where they reportedly signed autographs and took selfies with Riverdale fans at an airport after clearing customs, April 2nd, 2018. Cole Spouse and Lily Reinhardt are photographed kissing in Paris. Oh, I kind of remember this. The actors were photographed kissing in public for the first time while in the City of Love, where they were attending Rivercon, a three-day Riverdale fan convention, April 17th, 2018. Cole Spouse and Lily Reinhardt sent photos from a joint trip to Mexico. Sorry, I had to burp. The Riverdale co-stars added fuel to the fire when they both shared photos from at Kusamala, I think that's how you say that, a five-star hotel and resort located in Mexico, located on Mexico's Pacific coast that builds itself as a perfect, perf for, perfect for, perfect for, can I say the word, perfect for vacations and romantic getaways. I think it was for a romantic getaway. A oh, fucking vacation. On April 17th, Cole's, or, on April 17th, Sprouse, who is an avid photographer, photographer, I don't know why I said it like that, shared a photo of Reinhardt's shadow on his Instagram feed while Reinhardt tagged Sprouse in her own post. I guess that post was taken down because people just have the link to it. May 7th, May 7th, 2018, Cole Sprouse and Lily Reinhardt make their couple debut at the Met Gala. Oh, I love that photo. I will put pictures will be on the screen throughout this video stuff I'm talking about like Met Gala's uh, event ceremonies and all that shit. After more than a year of speculation, the Riverdale co-stars went public with the relationship on the Met Gala red carpet. Reinhardt made her Met Gala debut in a custom H&M dress made of silver lame, I think that's how you say that, organza, while Sprouse wore a long black coat and cropped Trousers by Thom Brown. Did I say that name? August 4th, 2018. Lily Reinhardt declares her love for Cole Sprouse. Though 
Though Reinhardt told Harper's Bazaar that she wasn't going to talk about my love story in July, she made her feelings crystal clear in a birthday tribute to Strauss a month later. It seems as if the world would still be a stranger to me if not for you. I'm so thankful that I'll pass into trying to form this beautiful adventure she wrote alongside a photo spouse. Happy birthday, my love. September 13th, 2018. Close to Ross calls Lily Reinhardt his news in a birthday tribute. To celebrate Reinhardt's 22nd birthday, Sprouse shared an intimate photo of the actress. Both the birthday and the gift he caps in this photo. My little news, happy birthday, my love. October 2018, Lily Reinhardt gives a rare interview about her relationship with Cole Sprouse. Five months after going public with the relationship, Reinhardt opened up about the romance, the, about the romance for Teen Vogue's October cover story. I like to go on adventures with Cole, she told the publication. The publication truly adventures. He takes me to places where I'm like, how did you find this? He's made me see these things that I would never have seen otherwise. It's, it's escapism, which is so beautiful and wonderful. November 2018, Lily Reinhardt brings Cole Sprouse home for Thanksgiving. For their first Thanksgiving holiday as a couple, Reinhardt took Sprouse home to spend time with her family to commemorate the event. Reinhardt shared multiple photos of Sprouse playing with her dogs on Instagram stories. I don't know what is highlighted in blue, so... Oh, it's one kid, they people magazine. That's the old, is that linked to an Instagram pictures? No, it's not. February 14th, 2018. Cole Sprouse and Lily Reinhardt post Sweet Valentine's Day tributes on Instagram. Though the couple was known for keeping their relationship private in interviews, Reinhardt and Sprouse were way more comfortable sharing their effects on Instagram. On Valentine's Day, Reinhardt shared a, smi shared a smiling cell. Cannot talk today. On Valentine's Day, Reinhardt shared a smiling sunset selfie with Sprouse. With Sprouse writing, you make me very happy. Happy Valentine's Day, my love. Sprouse posted its own tribute to his girlfriend on Instagram with the caption, Quite actually, the only thing keeping me sane is at Lily Reinhardt. March 7th, 2019. Cole Sprouse and Lily Reinhardt share rare moments of PDA on the red carpet. I love this picture, which will be all of the leaves on the screen now. Reinhardt gave Sprouse a sweet kiss on the cheek at the Los Angeles premiere of his movie Five Feet Apart. The actress was all smiles and a and a pale blue gray lace dress as she walked the walk as she walked the carpet with Sprouse, who paired a black and white striped shirt with a black suit. July twenty second, twenty eighteen, Cole Sprouse and Lily Reinhardt reportedly split after two years. When I first read this, I died inside. When I first seen this. But they later became back on because the relationship was off and on. Which fucking sucked that they were off and on <laughs> the whole three years that they dated. But uh, in fact, it was a few days after the pair reportedly kept their distance from each other at Entertainment Weekly's Comic Con party in San Diego. US Weekly and E News reported that the couple had called it quits. Reinhardt reportedly stuck close by co stars Camila. Cam Camila Mendez and Madeline Petz through, throughout Comic-Con, though CM Sprouse were sitting next to each other during Riverdale's panel, panel on July 21st. Please don't put me between these two every game, she kept in a photo of her Sprouse and KJ on Instagram, KJ app on Instagram after the panel. July 23rd, 2019, a source says Cole Sprouse and Lily's Reinhardt's relationship felt super heavy for a while. Their friends didn't really expect them to last in the long run, a source told people. At the end of the day, their personalities are very different and their lifestyles often clashed. Their source added, things have, it, things have felt super heavy in their relationship for a while and it got to be too much. They're both very professional, though, and trying to be as amicable and friendly as possible. July 25th, 2018, Coach Sprouse and Lily Reinhardt sparked confusion on Instagram. This is when I I remember being confused by this. Uh, this days after breakout reports, the Riverdale closer seemed to deny their split on Instagram by sharing their joint cover of W Magazine on Instagram. Breaking a reliable source has confirmed that none of you know shit. Reinhardt wrote in her post while Sprouse captioned the photo 
unprecedented, unprecedented. Close spots on Lily Rain that consume the flesh of reliable sources to fill the fats of the I don't even know how you fucking say that word. Because I want to be able to say the word properly. Bacchanalian. Fucking Bacchanalian. Okay, unprecedented. Close spots on Lily Rain and Lily Reinhardt consume the flesh of reliable sources to fill the Bacchanalian sex, sex cult. However, it's worth noting that the actors were interviewed separately for the cover story in May. I'm so glad we're making your job more difficult, Sprouse told the interviewer with a laugh. Uh, I'm so confused now again. When I, I was so confused. I'm like, multiple reports came out saying you were broken up. Broken up. And they come out with Instagram posts. Be like, we're still together, we're still together, we're still love each other, all this shit. Well, somebody on your team, because I think it was somebody on their team who leaked it, and they were like, they're not together anymore. I'm like, whoever you have on both of y'all's fucking teams, you need to fire them. Because they're spreading misinformation. Oh, oh I hate this. Okay. In her interview, Reinhardt revealed that she initially wanted to be outspoken about the relationship, but Sprouse urged disgracing. At first, I didn't. At first, I didn't want things. At first, I didn't want things private. Reinhardt said, "Now that I'm X amount of years in, I do appreciate the privacy we have that he's encouraged me to take. No one knows how long we've been together, and no one will until we're ready to say it. No one knows how we fell in love except for our close friends." And as it's really special. So, my. Sprouse explained that he was motivated by his desire to preserve the romance until he got through the paces and the dating stages and know that something is right for you. I don't think it's appropriate to bring others in. He said, But in all honesty, my own happiness and her happiness come before caring about what people are saying. August 4th, 2018, Lily Reinhardt pens birthday poem for Cole Sprouse. Okay, between, this is July and then August, uh, so maybe like a week, two weeks later. I was still confused. After the dying breakup rumors, Reinhardt started a sappy poem in honor of Spouse's 27th birthday. I tried to find a poem that I could send to you because my words were failing me, but I searched and found no nothing that did you justice. You were alongside a photo of Spouse. All these love poems can't get right. No one else's words could ever fit. They haven't, they haven't known the fortune it is to love you. The actors continued before calling the tribute a sappy nighttime birthday poem for at Cole Sprouse. August 6th, 2019. Cole Sprouse laughs off Lily Reinhardt breakup rumors. I remember there's a, this video, there's a video of this interview on YouTube. I remember watching this. <laughs> he laughed it off and I'm just like you obviously broke up and then got back together what three days later probably while attending Variety's Power of Young Hollywood at the H Club Los Angeles the Riverdale star told Entertainment Tonight that while he was incredibly annoyed over the recent breakup rumors he was able to laugh them off I don't care that's the nature of our industry Sprouse said I think you have to poke fun at it a little bit. It's kind of something you sign up for, but as long as you keep it light and fun, it's all good. <laughs> September 8th, 2018. Lily Reinhardt calls, calls Cole Sprouse her boyfriend and sees his joint Halloween costumes. Despite ongoing breakup rumors, Reinhardt calls Sprouse her boyfriend to discuss their plans to wear a couple's Halloween costumes in an interview with Coveteer. I think that's like that. I think I'm leaning in towards a character for Halloween. She said, I think I'm going to do it with my boyfriend, Cole. I don't want to spoil it if it's not going to happen, but it's a TV duo. September 13th, 2018. Close Browse shares PDA field photos in honor of Lily Reinhardt's 23rd birthday. Lily at Lily Reinhardt was born on a Friday the 13th and haven't I just been so lucky ever since Sprouse cuts in his Instagram tribute. Was featured the couple embracing and kissing in a photo brew. Okay, let's see if they go going to this. Yeah. 
Okay, I was seeing it. Because I kind of vividly remember the photos that he posted for her 23rd birthday, and they were awesome photos. There was good photos, and uh, damn it, there's not a link to it. Oh well. I'll see if I can find a link to it, and if I do, of the photos, they will be on the screen when I was hearing that. But, uh, January 2020, Cole Spouse and Lily Reinhardt secretly separate. The worst year of my life for this happening and then things in my personal life happening, off-camera life happening. In an Instagram post shared in August 2020, Sprouts confirms he and Reinhardt initially separated in January 2020. However, as far as the public knew at the time, the couple was still together. Yeah, I thought they were fine in January. I thought they were... Fine, I thought they were fun for the whole three years they were together. Except for the time breakup. They broke up and then got back together and the breakup, like I just said. I was confused for a while about that. March 2020, Cole Spouse and Lily Reinhardt privately make their split permanent. I hate reading that till to this day. It's been three years and it's almost four years and I still hate reading that permanent. Lily and I initially separated in January of this year, deciding to more permanently, more permanently split in March. Sprouse would later write in the August Instagram post. I remember seeing that post. I cried. I remember that day. I just cried. But it is what it is. <sighs> April 19th, 2020, Cole Spouse and Lily Reinhardt call out fans on social media amid cheating and breakup rumors. Do I think he cheated in the relationship or at the end of the relationship? Uh, no I do not. I don't think he cheated. I don't think he would ever cheat on him. He did later go on a Call Her Daddy episode that came out this year. Seeing that almost every girlfriend he's been with has cheated on him. So I think he knows what it, he knows what it feels like to be cheated on. So I'm like, why would he do that to someone if he knows how shitty it fucking feels like to be cheated on? But uh, spouse land baseless accusations in a lengthy Instagram story message on April 19th. I tolerate a lot of rumors and slander from people online claiming to be my fans. Fans who feel entitled to my privacy precisely because I never indulge them, he wrote. But attacking my friends' baseless accusations, leaking my dress, and sending death threats are all qualities of insanity and fan fanatism. Sprouse didn't say exactly what he was referring to, but earlier in the week, rumors began circulating on social media that the actor had cheated on Reinhardt. He called out followers again with another message a few days later, writing, When I first stepped into a public relationship, this was one of the foreseeable consequences. And while I truly never intend to indulge any part of my private life to the ravenous horde, horde is cleared. It's clear my restraint in updating them has allowed them to post their own agenda and onto my habits and lifestyle. He continued, so in conclusion, please eat my de delectable plump ass, making me post a goddamn right thought instant story like a twice before his Monday of three. Reinhardt also sent a message of her own in a sensitive tweet. Twitter is actually the most toxic form of social media, so we're on Twitter. According to Seventeen, people are a people are blank for the sake of being blank. Do you not understand? Karma is fun if you don't. You'll understand when it bites your miserable blank. The also the actress also reportedly shared on her Instagram story, "Dare everyone on social media, don't pe don't put people down for the sake of putting them down. Don't be a fucking asshole. The world doesn't need any more of that shit." March twenty or March May twenty fifth, twenty twenty. People confirms Lily Reinhardt and Cole Sprouse have split. In May, a source told people that on and off again couple was currently not together. 
August 18, 2020, Lily Reinhardt denies her friend said her breakup was close to us in an interview. And August, in August, Reinhardt discussed facing her depression head on during the pandemic in an interview with Refinery29. The last couple of months have probably been the most emotional few months of my entire life, and my therapist told me, Your body's going through withdrawal from love. You, you're used to having this exchange of happy chemicals between you and the person that you're with. The doctor said, in part, in moments of my life, I have dropped every ounce of pride that I had to just be like, let me, please take the pain away for a day, a second, or an hour, just so I can feel the, that fixed again. However, after fans related the interview to her rumored breakup with Sprouse, Reinhardt clarified her words on Twitter. Quotes taken from her most recent interview are not about a breakup, so they are about the depression I felt over the last few months. Tired of people taking my words out of context and piecing them together their own story for clickbait. Reinhardt continued, I would never speak so candidly about something as personal as a breakup. That is incredibly private. I was addressing my depression. August 19, 2020. Coach confirms his breakup with Lily Reinhardt. In a weird public statement about the relationship, Sprouse confirmed he and Reinhardt split in March as a super in January. What an incredible experience I've had. I always feel lucky and, and I'll always feel lucky and cherish that I had the chance to fall in love, he wrote. I wish for nothing but the utmost love and happiness moving forward. All I say about it and anything else you hear doesn't matter. He ended his post by promoting his ex's Amazon film Chemical Hearts. Also her movie comes out soon. I'm sure she does as incredible in it has anything else you, everything else she does. He added Thank you guys. March 31st, 2022. Cole Sprouse calls his previous relationship with Lily Reinhardt as real as it gets. In an interview with GQ, Sprouse said that fans of Spiderheart have, re have reacted poorly to his current relationship with French Canadian model Ari Fernandier. I don't know what say you say your name. Still, despite any negativity and feeling forced to discuss Reinhardt in an interview, she described his former relationship as real as it gets. March 8th, 2023, Cole Sprouse reflects on his hard split from Lily Reinhardt. Okay, this is really Call Her Daddy episode of the podcast comes into play. Sprouse spoke about his breakup with Reinhardt on an episode of the Call Her Daddy podcast. It was really hard. It was really hard for both of us, the actor said. I think the work thing got difficult because it was hard to suspend, suspend all the way we felt about each other, and it didn't afford us the luxury of distance to really overcome that. I know we both did quite a bit of damage to each other in that. He went on to say that he and Reinhardt are good friends now, and in that they work really well together. Okay, that is another article. Lily Reinhardt is now dating Jack Martin, and Cole Strauss is currently dating Ari Fernanier. I think that's how you say her name. And I know this video is three minutes long, but I, I do have a couple of things I want to say about the relationship. Riverdale, the last episode of Riverdale, I believe, comes out this month, August. And after that last episode comes out, there are, they are officially done working with each other. Certain Riverdale too. Which is, to me, how I feel about Riverdale coming to an end. It's hard to think about it. I don't watch Riverdale anymore, but it's just the era of it, I guess you call it. It's hard and sad. It really is hard. To think that the show who, the sh the show that I used to very 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 deeply love, don't love anymore, like that anymore because the seasons have just become bad. But uh, the writing has just become shit. But uh, it's hard because it's just like it's officially. They officially, they don't have to talk to you silly if they don't want to anymore. 
They don't have to be in the same room with each other, with each other if they don't want to anymore. Because they're not shooting the show together. They're not working together anymore. Oh well, I do hope that in some magical universe, another show, TV show, or another movie brings them back together. Not in a relationship form, but in a friendship form. Cool spouse did say they are good friends. Well, I don't believe that at all, because how can you be good friends with your ex? I mean, I guess sometimes you can be, but just... The way the the way the relationship was, I just don't believe that they're good friends. The amount of death threats that Close Spouse still gets because he's dating somebody else. And I'm just like, why doesn't does Lily Reinhardt get death threats for dating somebody else? For dating Jack Martin? I don't think she does, so it's just like Is it because Cole Spouse's girlfriend also has blonde hair and looks kind of like Lily. And people are just pissed off because... I don't know. I was deeply, deeply, deeply saddened when they broke up. And when Cole Spouse confirmed it with that Instagram post. It's feel, it just made me feel even more devastated. Because I have a feeling their relationship is going to work out in, lo in the long term. Because they work together. Like most relationships where you work together with the person doesn't work out. And this whole time while they were dating each other, so I had this like pin my stuff and I was like, this is not going to work out. There's no way it does. I believe one of the other reasons why they break up is because, uh, just like internet fans. I mean, if fans and fans were putting so much pressure on them to like make it work, and it's just like it just wasn't anymore. Like, it was either they break up or the relationship becomes toxic. And thank god they broke up before it did. There was an on and off again relationship. I mean, from what people believe it was on and off. Maybe it was always on. Close Spouse never has come out and confirmed that it was an on and off again relationship. And I still don't know what the hell happened with the lots of reports coming out saying that they broke up in the Close Spouse on Lily Reinhardt, they did break up. I think they did for like like under a week. And then they got there together and just didn't say shit. And then they come out with the, the two Instagram posts. Post spouse being like unprecedented and sex cool or whatever. Do I think Cole Sprouse and Lily Reinhardt are with their life? partners now. Billy Reinhardt is dating Jack Martin and uh I don't think Billy is I mean who the fuck has hang on people has an article right here that says who is Lily Reinhardt's boyfriend all about Jack Martin I think he has a big following on social media. Yeah, he has. He's an actor. He grew up in Virginia. He graduated from Georgetown University. He didn't always plan to act. He previously he previously parodied Lily Reinhardt's ex boyfriend. He parodied parodied Cole Sprouse from the Call Her Daddy podcast episode. They went an uh, Instagram official in July 2023. And so, here's Ori Furnier, Furnier? Uh, not Cole Sprouse's girlfriend, current girlfriend. They started dating in January 2021. She's a professional model. 
She's French Canada she's French Canadian. So grew up on a farm. She's an animal enthusiast. She has a YouTube channel. Sprouse has photo photographed her. She loves to travel. She's she's received some online hate for her relationship with Sprouse. Oh, uh, some it's like a lot. She's supportive of Sprouse's career, like a girlfriend should be, and that's it. <sighs> it is sad that they broke up. Still, three years later, I still had dreams, I guess you can call it, of them getting back together, working, marrying each other, but I'm pretty sure if they were the right ones for each other, they uh, would still 100% be together. But I think working on Riverdale is like, it's gotta be at least what? 40% of tributed, tributed to them breaking up. I mean, like Cole Sprouse said in his Call Her Daddy interview, they weren't able to extend how they really truly felt like each other because they never got that truly great of distance. And I'm guessing when they did, because of the pandemic, they don't know how the dis they don't know how they'll feel about the distance. Actually, they, they split in January, permanently split in March, before the pandemic making it happen, so what am I saying? Now that I think about that, I truly wonder, because Riverdale only had to tr contribute to half of, like, I refuse to believe, like, it was the full thing that caused them to break up. I don't believe that at all. Like, it only had to be half of it, like, 50, at least 50% of it. So, so there has to be some other problems in a relationship that were causing it just to not work. I mean, I'm guessing they tried to make it work between January and February for those two months. And they were just, like, they came at a point at, they came a point in time where they just couldn't make it work. And for me to think about that, that breaks my goddamn heart. That they tried for those two months to, like, try and save what they had. And at the end, they just couldn't. I am gonna end this video because it's almost 40 fucking minutes long, so yeah. I'm gonna go edit this video, but if you like this video, don't forget to like it. If you're not ever subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Subscribe and hit that notification bell to get notified when a new video gets posted. Peace guys.